Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So today we're going to talk about belt tensioners. We're going to go into what they are, uh, why you might want them, and how to install them. I bought a set of them here and uh, we'll go through that entire install process. The install process is pretty easy and quick and it doesn't really require any extra tools, just the Allen wrench. And overall, it's definitely a worthwhile upgrade, especially if you're having issues with banding or ghosting. So before we get started, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions about the install process or would like to see any of the videos or leave any other feedback, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. All right, so now let's talk about what I bought here. So I bought uh, two new mounting brackets uh, to replace the ones that are currently on the printer for your X and Y axis, so here and here. And uh, they come with uh, the actual pulleys as well in them, so we don't have to swap those out. And they have a little wheel adjusters to kind of adjust the tension on them. That's where um, the main upgrade for this is actually at. It is worth mentioning that you want to make sure you get the ones that are for your printer um, based on the size. So uh, the link to Amazon, which I'll link to below, uh, it gives you a couple different options based on size. Uh, for the x-axis here, we have a 20 by 20 uh, just aluminum piece. So that's what I bought here. Uh, but the y-axis on the Pro is wider than on the original Ender 3. Uh, so this is going to be 40 by 40. So I had to make sure I got that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in and we'll go through the install. All right, so I went ahead and zoomed in on the printer. Uh, I kind of wanted to talk about why you want to get these first. So here on the y-axis, it's not as big of an issue because you have more to work with. Um, but it's there's no way to actually pull this out at a consistent or even um, tension uh, to get the right tension on the belt. So it's really just a guess and using tools or whatever to kind of uh, push it out as you're tightening these in. Uh, a lot of times what I would end up doing is using either an Allen wrench or um, a pair of uh, needle nose pliers to kind of push in there and kind of uh, put a little bit of tension on it and hope that it was good enough and then I would go through tighten it up and then just do the same thing on the other side. And it's even more difficult when you're looking at the X axis up here because you only have this small little area to play with. Um, so I would typically just use the needle nose pliers there and kind of just pull them apart and tighten it in there. And then sometimes you could over tighten the bolt just kind of strip them out and stuff too. So it is kind of a pain. Um, now with these, let's just go ahead and open up the one for the Y axis here. We'll do that install first. Um, it comes with all the tools you need. So here, as you can see, it has the upgraded pulley, just a nice aluminum pulley, and then a knob here that we can use to adjust it. Once you've got the belt on there and it's pulling against it, when we turn this, it's either gonna pull it in towards here, uh, increasing the tension, or release it a little bit, decreasing the tension. All right, so let's go ahead and install this one first. What we're gonna to wanna to do is take off the four screws. Uh, so basically right here and right here. And we're just gonna need a three millimeter Allen wrench for that. All right, now that that's off, I wanna show you one thing. Um, like I mentioned, this one has an upgraded pulley. It actually has teeth that the belt can bite into, uh, where this is just round. So you're just spinning on it, uh, just hoping that it's going, but it's not gonna be as smooth or as clean as it will be with the teeth. Um, now we have two options here to get this off. Option one is we're gonna to have to take the bolt off of both of these and uh, put the belt in and put the bolts back in, or we can go in and disconnect the belt from under the build plate, which is kind of a pain, um, but that's the option I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna speed up the camera while I'm doing that. All right, now that I got that off, um, just a quick note, kind of pulling the bed to the front I made it a lot easier to um, actually disconnect this. It's still gonna be kind of a pain to put back on, but it'll work. All right, so now let's just go ahead and grab the bolts that came with the setup. Um, we just got a couple of our T-nuts here and then the bolts. 
All right, so our nuts here, they're just gonna slide in. We're gonna do two on each side and they're gonna be what the bolts bite into or screw into. And then when it tightens it down, it's gonna turn it in there and then make it so they don't come out. We'll do the same on the other side. I'll just kind of feed those in just so they're there. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put our belt through here. And then go ahead and feed that up. And then we need to connect this back to the build plate. So again, it's a little bit easier if you pull this to the front and try to do it there. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and speed the camera up really quick. All right, so now that I got that roughly in place, we're gonna go ahead and put the four bolts that came with the kit in place. Uh, aligning these are gonna be the challenging part. <laughs> and then you'll just go ahead and put them in, uh, tighten them up. All right, now that we have these loosely in place, we're gonna kind of pull this out to a point where we're just putting a little bit of tension on the belt, not too much, and then tighten them up. All right, now that all of that's tightened up, we wanna go ahead and tighten up our belt. We're gonna use the tension knob here. Uh, right now it's decently tight, just from where it's at. Um, we can go ahead and just Turn this knob clockwise, tighten a little bit more. And uh, you wanna just make sure you can get a little bit of tension on it, but to the point where you're not seeing any type of uh, cracks or anything in the belt. Then this should move pretty smoothly back and forth at that point. All right, so that's our Y axis. Let's go ahead and jump over to the X axis. All right, so here we're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. We've got our two screws. We're gonna take those off to start with. And then that whole thing just pretty much slides right out and pops out and it goes around the belt. So we're good there. Then as you can see here, this is just a round wheel as well. Just the bearings. It doesn't have the teeth on it. So now let's go ahead and open up our new one here. So I'm going to go through and loosen this up really quick. All right. So this is essentially going to just sit like the here right off of um, the side. Um, one thing that we have to do is either take off this belt again like we did on the other one or we can just take out this one screw, uh, slide it out, put the wheelie in place and put the one screw back in. Uh, I'm going to go that route because I think it's going to be quicker uh, for this one. That would not have been the case for the Y axis. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and slide the nuts in really quick here uh, just so that they're there and ready. All right, so now let's go ahead and loosen this guy up. It should just pop right out, just the one bolt here. Then we can pull the pulley out, kind of put that around our belt, and then slide this whole fixture back into place really quick, and then put that bolt back in. All right, now that that's in place again, we can go ahead and put our two screws in here. Uh, we just gotta move these nuts up a bit here. Put that one there. That one about there. All right, now that these are loosely in place, we wanna kinda just pull this out a little bit, make sure it's somewhat tight, and then go ahead and tighten the actual bolts down. All right, now we wanna go ahead and uh, put the tension on the belt. So again, we're gonna go back over to our tensioner, turn it clockwise and it's going to pull this towards it and put the tension on the belt. And then you wanna to get to a point where it's pretty tight. You can tell closer to where it's actually connecting to the carriage over here, um, how tight it is. So just a tad bit more. And again, you want it tight, but not too tight. All right, there we go. And then 
having the tensioner on here allows you to make those little adjustments that might be needed as you're going. All right, guys, so that pretty much covers the process to install the belt tensioners on these printers. Uh, I use my Ender 3 Pro here as an example, but any printer that has a similar type of setup um, will be able to use these and be able to benefit from them. Um, they are a great upgrade, especially if you're having issues getting the right tension on the belt or if you're seeing any type of ghosting or movement on those axes. Uh, if you have any questions about the process, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thank you.